Okay, so this one's a molarity problem. Um, the first molarity problem that you guys saw on uh, some sort of quiz or exam this semester, but it says, what volume of a 12.0 molar HCl solution is needed to provide 0 0.60 moles of HCl? So it gives us the concentration of the HCl solution at 12.0 molar HCl. And it also says that um, you want to have 0 0.60 moles of HCl. So. so it's wondering what is the volume of this HCl solution that you're going to need to get 0.6 moles in. Does everybody understand the question? Okay. So when we do that, all we got to remember is what we're going to be doing is using these kind of conversion factors. Okay. So I'm going to start with that moles of HCl that the problem gives us. Okay. But here we got to remember that big M is moles per liter, right? So this means 12.0 moles of HCl per one liter of HCl solution, okay? So when we look at that, right, so we're looking for a volume, so liters, or I think in this case it, we're going to get it in milliliters. Um, we've got the conversion factor that we need to do that already. So. What we're going to do is put the moles, of course, on the bottom to cancel that out. And the one liter of the HCl solution on top. And then again, like I said, um, it gives you a few options, but one of the, the option that is the right answer is in milliliters. So one liter. One liter of the HCl solution is 1,000 mils of the HCl solution. So like that. And then you just go ahead and use your calculator. So 0.6 divided by 12 times 1,000. I guess we didn't need the calculator for that. Um, two sig figs, right? So you're going to put the decimal point there. Mills of the 12.0 molar HCl solution. Does that make sense? So again, you're just using that molarity as another conversion factor from moles to liters of your particular solution. Any questions on that one?